dear student uh, this is our 13th lecture uh, on the series uh, named reactions and uh, in today's lecture we will discuss uh, about the mechanism applications of uh, pomada reaction which is uh, again uh, a coupling reaction uh, which is used uh, very conveniently for the formation of new carbon carbon bonds uh, the uh, Komada coupling reaction uh, is basically uh, useful for the formation of carbon-carbon uh, bonds when uh, aryl, vinyl or alkyl halides or pseudo-halides having uh, triplets, they are uh, reacted with Grignard's reagent. So when Grignard reagent react with these uh, types of substrates, then uh, the products are formed with uh, coupling uh, reaction uh, having a new carbon-carbon uh, bond and the reaction take place in the presence of either uh, palladium catalyst or nickel catalyst. So these uh, are very useful either palladium or nickel catalyst for the formation of new carbon-carbon bond using uh, Grignard reagents uh, on reaction with these types of uh, alkyl halides, aryl halides, vinyl halides or pseudo halides as the substrate. So this uh, Kumada coupling reaction was the first uh, reported catalytic cross coupling uh, reaction although after uh, the formation of uh, uh, this Komada coupling uh, a number of other coupling uh, reactions they are being used extensively like Suzuki coupling, Sonogashira coupling, Steel coupling, Hayama coupling or Nagishi coupling. Uh, all these uh, reactions they have their own advantages and uh, disadvantages uh, whereas uh, the Komada coupling is also used for the industrial uh, production of aliscreen uh, which is a, a drug for hypertension. Then this is also useful in the synthesis of polythiophenes uh, which are useful in uh, organic electronic devices. Now uh, the as far as mechanism uh, of uh, the reaction is concerned uh, the uh, basic scheme of the mechanism for both palladium catalyst and nickel catalyst is same only difference being uh, that here in case of nickel we use uh, nickel catalyst and in case of palladium we use palladium catalyst and uh, uh, steps of Komada uh, coupling they are same as we have seen in uh, other carbon-carbon uh, uh, coupling reactions uh, where we are using pla uh, palladium catalyst uh, like uh, Suzuki coupling, Hack reaction and then Nagishi reaction all these uh, reactions they have uh, same type of mechanism and the only difference is that uh, the transmetallation uh, step is different in all these cases depending upon uh, the type of uh, organometallic reagent uh, which is used in addition to the palladium so in the first step uh, the palladium catalyst in its zero oxidation state undergoes oxidative addition of the substrate that is uh, either uh, organic halide or pseudo halide so when organic halide or pseudo halide is reacted with palladium in zero state then uh, uh, through oxidative addition this uh, organic halide or pseudo halide adds across the palladium ligand uh, to give us this type of palladium 2 intermediate. Then this palladium 2 intermediate undergoes uh, transmetallation reaction in presence of Grignard reagent and uh, the alkyl uh, group present on the Grignard reagent is transferred to the palladium uh, reagent and we will get uh, this X is replaced by uh, this R1 from the uh, Grignard reagent to give us these types of uh, palladium 2 uh, intermediates and these palladium 2 intermediates they undergo uh, cis trans uh, isomerization uh, to have uh, orientation of uh, these two uh, R 
or one groups in such a way so that they can easily undergo reductive elimination to give us the product with new carbon carbon bond and the palladium zero is generated back and this will again act as catalyst and the process will be completed again similarly in case of uh, nickel catalyzed reactions only difference is that here uh, palladium is replaced by nickel and first step again is oxidative addition uh, to give us this nickel 2 uh, intermediate this nickel 2 intermediate then again will undergo transmetallization uh, metallation reaction and uh, this r1 group is transferred to the nickel 2 intermediate and we will get this type of intermediate which will undergo cis trans isomerization to have orientation of these group in such a way that it can easily undergo reductive elimination to give us a product with a new carbon carbon bond formation so this is the mechanism for uh, pomada coupling reaction then uh, this uh, Komada coupling uh, shows uh, chemo selectivity that uh, uh, Grignard reagent uh, uh, show low reactivity with uh, chlorinated uh, arenes uh, if we say uh, this is the substrate where we are having uh, chloro group also and bromo group also when this is uh, reacted with uh, Grignard reagent uh, in presence of uh, nickel catalyst then <clears throat> chemoselectivity uh, is shown uh, that uh, uh, this bromo group is more reactive as compared to chloro group so we can see over here that the coupling product formed uh, through uh, elimination of bromo group from here uh, is 53 percent and uh, after uh, this is formed 7% of the product is formed where uh, both these groups they are cross coupled to give us these types of uh, triphenyl uh, products so basically uh, these uh, reactions they are chemo selective in nature so depending upon uh, that what type of bond is to be broken uh, for the formation of new carbon carbon so uh, carbon chlorine bond is more uh, stronger as compared to carbon bromo bond so that is why this is uh, broken uh, at the first instance chemoselectively to give us uh, the products which are more uh, where this uh, bond is good similarly uh, these kumada uh, coupling reactions they are stereoselective also so for example uh, when uh, we use uh, these types of cis and uh, trans uh, olefin halides the retention of configuration uh, in the product uh, is retained if we use alkyl magnesium halides for example if uh, this uh, cis alkene is reacted with methyl magnesium bromide we will get the cis product the retention of configuration will be there similarly if we react trans alkene with methyl magnesium bromide we will get the trans product when we are using alkyl grignard reagents but if we use a vinylic grignard reagent uh, for example this one is a vinyl uh, magnesium bromide so Vinyl Grignard reagent is used uh, with the organic halides, then we will get uh, retention of configuration is not there, and we will get uh, a mixture of uh, cis and trans products in these cases. And uh, this loss of stereoselectivity is because of the side reactions between uh, two equivalents of uh, allylic Grignard reagents which take place uh, during these steps so uh, stereoselectivity uh, may be maintained depending upon the type of Grignard reagent which we use in case of uh, alkyl Grignard reagent stereoselectivity will be maintained whereas in case of uh, vinylic or allylic uh, Grignard reagents we will get uh, a mixture of products
then uh, we can also uh, have a natio selective products through uh, asymmetric Kumada couplings, uh, which can be achieved if we use uh, chiral ligands uh, like uh, a planar chiral ferrocene ligands or uh, bis oxazolines as the catalysts, which are again uh, a uh, which are again chiral in. Nature. So, for example, if uh, methoxy alkyl ferrocenyl uh, monophosphine uh, is used uh, for uh, this reaction, we will get the uh, coupling products like this. So, uh, an natio selective coupling of these types of alpha bromo ketone uh, using uh, bis oxazolines can also be achieved with 95% uh, of the natiomeric access in the uh, products which are formed by this type of coupling with uh, three cyano uh, methyl magnesium uh, phenyl magnesium bromide for the coupling uh, under uh, in the presence of nickel catalyst then uh, some uh, interesting examples uh, as i have told you uh, this is uh, komada coupling is used for industrial processes for the synthesis of aliscreen uh, which is a drug used for hypertension so uh, this is basically alkyl magnesium chloride uh, having uh, this structure of the substrate when this is uh, reacted with uh, this uh, allyl chloride uh, this will undergo uh, Kumada coupling uh, with formation of a new carbon-carbon bond at this carbon and this carbon of the allyl group. And we will get uh, this type of uh, product through uh, Kumada coupling reaction. And with further uh, steps, then uh, this ester group is further reacted with uh, some other substrate and uh, addition uh, to this carbon-carbon double bond lead to the formation of this hypertensive uh, drug valley screen as the product. Then uh, uh, another common example of Komada coupling is uh, uh, synthesis of uh, polythiophene. So polycondensation reactions they can also take place uh, using uh, these types of Komada coupling conditions. For example, uh, these types of uh, thiophenes, substituted thiophene where R is some alkyl group, uh, they uh, in the presence of uh, uh, LDA in THF at minus 40 degrees centigrade, uh, this hydrogen will be replaced by lithium. And then uh, when this uh, substrate is reacted with magnesium bromide, this will be converted into this type of uh, thiophene-based uh, Grignard reagent. And this thiophene-based uh, Grignard reagent will undergo polycondensation reaction in presence of uh, nickel catalyst to give us these types of polyalkyl thiophenes through polymerization reactions and uh, these uh, polyalkyl thiophenes they are used uh, in organic solar solar cells and uh, light emitting diodes and uh, these are very important uh, materials which can be synthesized through Kumada coupling. Similarly uh, these types of substituted uh, thiophenes having uh, halogen group at uh, both these positions they uh, uh, in the presence of uh, zinc uh, compounds uh, they are converted into organo zinc uh, derivatives and these organo zinc derivatives in presence of uh, nickel complexes undergo polycondensation reactions to give us polyalkyl thiophenes as the product so only difference uh, between the polymers form uh, through this process or through Grignard reagent uh, processes that the molecular weight of the product formed is different. So here the molecular weight ranges from uh, 24,000 to 34,000 uh, dA whereas uh, in this case uh, the molecular weight ranges from 20,000 to 40.
then uh, some modifications of Komada coupling uh, has also been seen in recent years that instead of uh, nickel and palladium catalyst, uh, cobalt catalyst, they have also been used in combination with the Grignard reagents and uh, alkyl halides for the formation of a new carbon-carbon form. So uh, these types of alkyl halides on reaction with the one trimethyl saline, uh, ethinyl magnesium bromide uh, reacts uh, to give us uh, these types of uh, two trimethyl saline, ethylene magnesium uh, bromide, uh, this one. Uh, they give us the corresponding uh, products with formation of a new carbon carbon. For example, uh, in this substrate, when this is reacted with this, a new carbon carbon bond will be formed at this carbon and this carbon of the uh, Grignard reagent. And we will get these types of products. Similarly, if we use alkyne, uh, alkenyl uh, Grignard reagent, then a new carbon-carbon uh, bond will be formed between this carbon and this carbon. And we will get these types of products. So, in case of uh, alkyne-based uh, uh, Grignard reagent, the product formed is 67%, whereas alkene-based Grignard reagent, we will get more of the product. Then uh, the cobalt uh, catalyst, they can also be used uh, under uh, Komada coupling conditions uh, for the synthesis of uh, natural product like uh, peroxidine, hydrochloride. So for example, if we are uh, using this type of uh, organic halide, organic bromide, and when this is reacted with 4 fluoro phenyl magnesium bromide in presence of cobalt catalyst, then a new carbon carbon bond will be formed between this carbon uh, of the organic halide and this carbon of the Grignard reagent. And we will get uh, these types of natio selective products in 88%. And then uh, through uh, further reaction in presence under acidic conditions, uh, this uh, uh, protecting group can be removed to give us uh, the hydrochloride of per peroxidine, uh, which is uh, uh, a target compound and uh, is biologically active uh, compound used in some uh, pharmaceutical applications. These are uh, the references uh, which have been used uh, for preparing this lecture. Thank you very much.